Hey guys, how's it going? It's Daniel again from Dash Clicks. Now I know you've all been waiting for this and you're like, Daniel, you're making us wait for this amazing training. I know, but it's finally here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to get three clients a week using Instasites. Now, what I'm gonna share with you is modeled off what I did in my agency. And these were the results I was getting. So everything I'm showing you is pretty much exactly what I did. But I want you to know that you can still try that, but you can also take the information and dissect it and put it into your um, style, your own tone, however you're kind of doing your sales so it fits into um, your style more easily or better. But I want to give you the exact roadmap of what I was doing to generate three clients a week from Instasites. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into it. What we're going to do first is we're going to go to... The roadmap and i just want to give you a bird's eye view of everything so you kind of see how it's structured and then we'll jump into the details okay number one we're going to jump directly into very important information this is kind of just the basic stuff like pricing details to know because that's really what made it successful for me was setting it up with these specific details um and these specific details can be tweaked. I would just not go too far off of what I'm showing you today because this is, again, it proved to work for me. Um, then we're going to jump into outreach. Then we're going to jump into the pitch. Then we're going to jump into follow-up. Finally, we'll jump into the close. Okay, here is where it all begins. These are the important details to structure this process, this tactic. Number one, it needs to be a low-cost website. Okay, don't try doing this for $2,500 websites or anything like that. I mean, go ahead. That will, that's great. But this specific Instasite strategy needs to have, it needs to be a low cost. It needs to be a no brainer, something they don't really have to think about. I was charging these Instasites for $249. Um, and that seemed to be a really good number. Sometimes I did $299. That worked fine. I just kept it under $300. But I kind of found the sweet spot to be a $249 charge. Um, the second thing is there's a hosting fee. Now, if you are familiar with Dash Clicks, you already know this, but for people who aren't, you have, just know that there is a hosting charge to host the website. And you have to make sure that those people know there's a hosting, the clients know there's a hosting charge too. So kind of how I structured this was like, yeah, um, you know, built your brand new website, it's 249. The website's 199. And the first month of hosting is $49, okay? Keep that information in mind. Now, the third thing is I offered sort of a concierge service to this because you don't want to use this method to, like, become a client's web designer because it's not enough money for the amount of work you'll end up doing. So I would just say build them separate for the extra web design work that they ask you to do. In this case, you're just going to offer, like, a sign-up concierge service which basically is like we'll upload your logo and we'll update your info and make sure the site's kind of set up in terms of we'll set your domain transfer it over from your old website to the new insta site um, it comes with an ssl certificate okay these are some of the benefits that i always mentioned because ssl certificates depending on where you uh, host your website sometimes they charge you for it and that could be like 20 bucks or 10 bucks or whatever so that's included they also get a web editor so they're in charge after your initial setup to manage the website. So if they need you to do something, fine, you can bill them separate, but they get a web editor, easy click and drag, they manage it. They get access, they own the site, so on and so forth. Something you need to know. This strategy is meant to increase your client list. This is not a big high ticket money making thing. Now, on the front end, it's not. On the back end, you can do a value ladder and upsell these clients for SEO services, Facebook ads, Google ads, whatever it might be. But this is just to get clients on your list, in your door, in your agency, to then scale up with them, okay? Let's move on to the next part. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is the outreach. This is the exciting part that I wanna share with you because there's probably some things you already thought this was obvious and some things that I tried that I found to work really well. And you might find too. Hands down, the best thing that worked was cold calling. Hands down. I have not tried email, but I know this could work for email. Um, there's also a deal automation in the dashboard where you could set up uh, emails going out, a certain response comes in, 
it moves that contact to the next portion of your pipeline, then that pipeline triggers a deal automation to send them an Instasite. So I would highly recommend trying that out because I know email still works very well. Plus in the dashboard, we have a deal automation. Um, thirdly, I have tried this. This offered great results, which was social media DMing. That worked really well, actually. Just be careful with doing it too much because your social accounts could get flagged for it. So only do a few seg at a time and segment it out. But I was getting great responses. And the first response back was, oh, I'm interested. Tell me more. Okay. Now, here's the unique thing is I think is worth trying. Now, if you've got a budget for ads to invest into your agency, um, what I tried that worked well was I actually ran a Facebook ad that said, hey, you want to build a brand new website instantly for $249 or whatever you're charging. And I'll go into those details um, a little more. But $249 instant website. Click the link. It brought them to a landing page that I that I created, I did it through ClickFunnels. Um, you can do it through anything, honestly. It doesn't really matter where you build your landing pages. And then I asked for basic info I need to actually create an Instasite for them. And I think at the t I think all I needed was um, their name, email number, location of the business, so I could put in like in a general idea of where they are, and then um, the industry they're in. And I would make a little drop-down list they could choose. That would generate a lead. I would take that info, insert it into Instasites, and send them their brand new website. That worked phenomenally. That's something to try. These are all outreach methods. Um, I've tried all of them. They all work pretty well. Cold calling works the best. I have not done email, but I know it can work very well for email too. Okay. Now let's get into the pitch. If you're in the Dash Clicks Facebook group, this pitch is already in there. I posted it. But if you don't have it, I'm adding this in the description for you to use. Okay. This is the exact script. I use and I'm going to go over this with you right now you go on Google my business you have leads wherever it is okay you're calling a business that's in the insta site that has an insta site okay it doesn't matter who answers it doesn't matter you don't need to know any one's name you don't know you know anything about the company besides the fact that there's an insta site for that type of business someone answers and you go hey I'm not sure if you're the right person to talk to about this but my name is your name, and I run a local marketing agency. And we're currently offering local companies like yourself a brand new website for $249. Are you the person I need to talk to about that? There's typically three responses I've gotten from this. Okay. Number one is they go, No, I'm not. And they might actually just say, You got to talk to Jeff. Jeff's the guy you need to talk to. I'm not the, that person. Okay. But if they don't, they go, Oh, no, that's not me. Maybe you say, which is in parentheses right here. Ask for the right person. Oh, oh, okay. Um, who do I need to talk to about that? And they'll probably give you the name. More often than not, they give you the exact person you need to talk to, and they'll give you their contact info. Number two, which is B. They might go, oh, that's me. And you're like, oh, okay, nice to meet you. Is that something you might be interested in? And they might ask you to repeat it, so you just kind of restate what you said. Well, we're doing a local thing for businesses, and we have 249 special, blah, blah, blah. That starts the conversation, okay? The third the third answer they give or response might be, no, I'm not interested. And at that point, you have a really powerful rebuttal for that, which is, well, okay, I understand, but um, I actually already built it for you. It's already built. Um, and if you want, I could just send it over to your email or phone right now and you could check it out if you want. <laughs> and they'll probably go, oh, Okay, yeah, I mean, just send it over. Why not? We'll just look at it. And then you can ask, oh, okay, what's your number? What's your email? So if you get this site in front of them, they're going to have more questions about it. They might actually like it and go, wow, this is a really cool site. And you're like, yeah, you know, compared to your other one, it kind of sucks. You know, it's really, really great. It's a good conversation starter. I've had situations using this script where I call them up, I say this, they go, oh, I'm not interested. And they go, oh, well, okay, but I actually already built it for you. Do you I get to send it to your phone check it out. I send it to their phone instantly and it sparks up the conversation. You go, oh, that's actually really nice. You would you say 249? You're like, yeah, 249. And I've sold Insta sites that way before. This will definitely work. Um, disclaimer at the bottom. Um, no need to create the Insta site, although it would have the company's info ready in the field. So when the client agrees for you to send the site, you can click the create button in the dashboard. Okay. So 
Another thing to take note about this is I wouldn't create Insta sites before I called because that would just be would take way too long. It's too much time to put the info in, create the site, and then call the company for them to say, no, I'm not interested, and then they just hang up. What I would do sometimes is I would do one of two things. I wouldn't build the Insta site or put any info in anywhere. I just would call them and get interest and go, oh, well, I'll send it over. And then I would do the info and then send that over, okay? Um, and maybe that'd be on the same call. Maybe it's off call. It just depends. The second thing would be I would put all the info into the required fields, make the phone call, but I wouldn't build the Insta site. So when I got to the point where I was like, oh, well, I and I already built it for you. I can just send it to your phone if, if you want. And then we go, okay, sure. Once they give me permission to do that, I'll click the Insta site build button. And then I'll say notify this contact by SMS or email. And on that first cold call, I mean, within under, you know, five minutes or whatever, I could have an Insta site on their phone with them on the phone with me. They could open it up and Insta sites are nice. They're built really well. They look great. So it's going to spark the conversation again. So what do you, what do you think? Oh, it's actually really nice. So I've done it kind of a slew of different ways, but majority of the time it's one of those scenarios. Okay. That's the pitch. Let's move on to follow up. Now here is the real crucial part. Okay. You can call these companies. You can use that script. You can get interest. You can send the site. You can continue the conversation. You might have some who close on the call. I've had that happen, but it's just, it's just rare. You know, one call closes are very rare, but they do happen. Where you're going to find how you're going to get these continued clients coming in and building your client list up, like those three clients per week, is going to come here. This is your follow-up. This is where you build up your leads who show interest. Okay, You're going to keep on top of those leads. So it gets to the point where you have hundreds of people who say, I'm interested, or show interest, or express interest. And you're only following up now with people who said that, or have expressed interest. You're not following up necessarily with just people who don't know you. So you're building up your pipeline each week. And what you'll find is most of your consistent sales are going to come from a built up pipeline of people who already know who you are and what you're offering. Okay, that's where these three clients are going to come from each week. It's really, really powerful. Okay, it's easier to sell to someone who knows you. You probably heard this before versus someone who doesn't. Okay, you just have more trust. So keep on top of your leads who are interested. Keep following up. Keep keep selling the offer. Keep selling the insight. You're going to get these consistent sales coming in the more and more you build. Okay, next section after follow up, it's going to be closing the deal. This whole system set up to make it the easiest decision they can. Okay. The site's inexpensive. It's a promo. Okay, we'll set up everything for you. There's no contracts. There's no startup. There's nothing like that. And we'll set up, we'll do the concierge. We can get you in. You have a brand new website. It looks amazing. Comes with SSL. You get your own web builder. I'll be here to support you. If you need anything else, we do offer web design services. It gets clients on your list, builds it up. You can upsell them through your value ladder for SEO or other services once you build trust. Once they know this and you've built your pipeline where you're talking to only interested people, you're going to be able to close these deals so easily because they're already interested. Okay, so let's go through, let's just kind of recap real quick to close this training off. So. These are your important details. This is how I structured it. This was my mindset, which the goal was to get clients, not necessarily to make upfront large amounts of income. <laughs> okay. Later on, it was the main number one outreach I recommend and that I used really well was cold calling. And I just called leads off Google My Business. Um, buying lists, you could do that. But I mean, probably the best and most accurate and unlimited leads you can get is Google My Business or Yelp or things like that. Okay, you can use email. I've done social media. You can do that as well too. That worked well. You can run Facebook or Google ads doing that. Here's the pitch I used. Again, use it verbatim or take pieces out and try what works for you. This is what worked really well for me. 
And you can repeat that with client after client after call after call, okay? Um, the follow-up is really where you build your pipeline and you get those consistent sales happening over and over again each week, okay? And then as that happens, closing deals will get easier and easier. Last recommendation I have before we go and end this training is I found the quickest way to do this is what you can commit to, okay? And what that means is what I committed to was doing about 25 calls a day. Sometimes I get really excited and I do 50. But again, the more work you put into this, the more calls you do, the bigger your pipeline grows, the quicker you do sales, the quicker you get consistent sales. So you're doing one sale every two weeks. Now you're getting three sales every week. That's where that comes from. And closing the deals will get easier because you'll get better at it. Your pipeline gets bigger. More people know you. Okay, so I hope you found this training really, I found a lot of value in it. This is the exact thing that I was doing. I know it sounds super, super simple, but again, it is, and that's why it works so well because it's not complicated. The clients can understand it. Um, it built up trust really quickly because you weren't charging an arm and a leg for it. It got clients in and it built that trust to get them where I could put them in other plans like Google ads and Facebook ads and that sort of thing. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, comment your thoughts below and I will see you in the next training.